Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is day 28. I don't know why I had to wait for that one. I knew today's day of the legal day challenge. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's farm. And today we have a Yeezy farm. Yay! We'll see how it goes. Uh, and if it is Yeezy, then we'll do a bonus question afterwards. Today I just kept it Yeezy, just went to the gym, um, did minor exercises, and then just ran a couple of miles to warm up. Well, not warm up uh, to shake out. Uh, I have a I have a race tomorrow morning, but it's 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 a casual race, so um, it's just four miles, nothing too crazy, about six point four kilometers or something, I think. But yeah, all right, let's take a look at today's farm. Without further ado, we have twenty ninety nine. Find subsequence of link K with the largest sum. You're given an integer array nums and an integer K. You want to find a subsequence of nums of link K with the largest sum. Return any subsequence that has an integer array of link K. Okay. Uh, I mean, I think the, the uh, yeah, I mean, I think this is a good example of a problem. I think I talked about something similar uh, either yesterday or the day before in one of those videos with the subsequence. And I think the first thing I, I would always, always say is, well, with these problems, or maybe not, it doesn't even have to say explicitly that it's subsequence, but you have to work it out, is that um, if they ask, or you, the one thing that I always try to figure out is, does order matter, right? If order doesn't matter, um, then you could sort it. Um, and sorting doesn't always lead to a better answer, but sorting is um, always leads you into a way to think about it in which maybe you can uh, abuse it, right? If nothing else, you can bina start binary searching, etc., right? May maybe, may not be, but that's basically the idea, right? Um... Yeah, uh, I think that's basically how I want to think about it. Um, yeah, and in this case, you can tell that the sub uh, the order matters and also doesn't matter, right? Um, in that getting the largest sum, the maximum sum, um, the order doesn't matter, right? Because you just need the components. And if you kind of think about it that way, then the, you can probably jump, and this is why this is easy, is that you could jump to the next step very quickly, right? Of, okay, if the order doesn't matter, then we just want the num the largest number, right? Because the, every component is, is independent, just get k largest number, right? Um, and then you're done, and then sum it up. Of course, you, d you do have to do a little bit of bookkeeping to return the actual array, um, but that should be fine. And I think given that n is equal to 1,000, you can probably even do something n squared. Um, do I know anything n square? I probably do, but or n times k or something like that. Where you know you, but if you're get, getting um, you know k max elements, I think the the first uh, intuition may be. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I guess there are ways to do it. I was gonna say the, the first intuition is to use heap, and then maybe we could do a uh, keep track of a k heap. K max heap to get the max, or uh, well, min heap to keep track of the K max numbers, right? And of course, in that case, it's going to be N log K, which is faster than what I'm about to suggest, which is easier to implement, which is N log N, right? So you could choose N log N, N log K. Uh, this is an easy problem. I'm not going to go into the N log K too much, but uh, but maybe if you didn't do it with an N log K, um, upsolve it, right? And honestly, that upsolve, I wouldn't say is probably for um probably for competitive programming log n and log k usually doesn't matter but for interviews it does come up because people want to see you you know make that distinction so definitely something to practice about especially if you're going for interviews right um okay so maybe one way that i can say is uh well i, I, I was going to do something like a heap but maybe this is a little bit easier which is that we we'll enumerate nums uh, then now we can sort it where key, I think it's key, right? Lambda of x. Um, now remember x for each element on enumerate, you have the index and the value. So then now maybe we want to sort by the value first. Oh, oops. No, 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 we want the largest, so we want it at the beginning. And then the index, I mean, we put in the second. We don't even need to sort it, I don't think. But um, But yeah. So then now after you sort this, then maybe you have something like this as you go to this sequence, right? And then now we just need to take the first k. Do we always have k elements, right? Okay, because otherwise that's just silly. The first k, and then we want to sort this by um, 
first k element, we want to sort it by, what do we want to sort it by? Well, we want to sort it by the index, right? So then now we sort it by uh, the index again. Or, oh, no, no, the index is except zero, right? And then uh, once we sort it by that, then uh, eh. uh, I'm trying to figure out a na viable name for it, but maybe we don't even need to. Maybe we just do like for uh, do, 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 index and then x in sorted x, right? Uh, we just return x. So then list, we return list, and then we return this. Something like that, maybe. Hopefully, I didn't have a typo. Uh, ooh. Uh, of all typos, that's an easy one to fix, right? So it looks okay for, for one, two, and three. Let's give you a submit. Hopefully, no silly mistakes. And there we go. Uh, yeah, like I said, there's well for this one, there's two sorting. You probably can you can definitely do this with an n log k, as I said. So definitely observe it that way. Um, hopefully this code makes sense. Actually, maybe I I, I <laughs> uh, code golf this a little bit much, and I didn't even code golf it that much, but um, this is kind of awkward looking in general. But basically, the idea here is just sort by the value. Uh, the reason why I put in enumerate is because we want to keep track of the index, and the index is so that we can sort it back, so that we can return uh, the subsequence in the order, right, for this problem. And that's why I did it that way. But you could write it out. Like I said, you could also do n square with some sort of insertion, e sort, um, or selection sort, maybe even, and that would be fine, right? So, yeah. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. And, yeah. Uh, stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll, I'm going to do one more problem, by the way. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye-bye.